one of our hour by hour forecast bringing in mostly clouds through early morning if we see much at all, but a couple of spots here and there that could get going, especially as we head out in the eastern triad. Then we go into the afternoon hours and we look at better opportunities for those showers and those thunderstorms. So Easter Sunday is looking pretty good out there. Uh, we've got cloudy conditions, but very muggy weather starting to build later Saturday. So you've got 67 and Greensboro 64 and High Point right now. We stack up those temperatures also in the mountains with pretty comfortable conditions and you are going to feel good to start your morning. Maybe a light jacket not only for your Saturday morning, but also for Sunday if you're heading out to those Easter sunrise services. A little dew on the grass, otherwise pretty comfortable start to our day. You've got winds right now to the south at six in Greensboro some 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year. Today we only made it up to 76 in Winston-Salem and Greensboro because we had those clouds and that shower roll in between 4 and 5 a.m. kept things a little cooler for us today. But normally folks out there around Moxville up through Burlington hitting your 80 degrees. So you were warmer where you didn't have some of that moisture to work with early. And that'll be the similar case tomorrow. Your dew points coming up upper 50s, low 60s likely as we had late Saturday. So watching for a slightly more muggy feel to the air. Your temperatures not that much different from yesterday, slightly cooler in a couple spots up in Mount Airy and Martinsville where we have some clear skies. Very high pollen counts for folks out there over the next 24 hours and stretched out through Monday. We've got oak and pine, a little sycamore mixed in too. And you can see that shower down to the south is what we've been watching out there right now. More moisture heading our way and we will talk about those severe thunderstorm threats staying to our west, so that's the good thing. But by Monday, we'll increase everyone's rain chance and we need the rain. We're hoping to tap into some good half inch to one inch rains to soak our gardens. Wouldn't that be great?